Dr. Haley Perlis and welcome to today's Mental Toughness Moment. I am on a work trip and I'm pretty lucky to be in uh, the location where I'm at, but I'm about to give a training tomorrow and we're going to be talking about uh, achieving our goals. This is going to be part of the process and just yesterday I was interviewed as a guest for a podcast where we talked about achieving our goals and one of the concepts is accountability. So I want to share with you what I talked about in the podcast yesterday and what I'm going to be talking about tomorrow so you can be part of it. Accountability is huge. We can be our greatest ally, but we can also be our worst enemy. So we need others to hold us accountable, but we need to choose wisely. So here's the thing. Choose someone who obviously cares about you and wants you to succeed. But the reason why you need someone to hold you accountable is because there are going to be times when you want to follow through on your goals and then you're going to have the word, but I want to do this, but this got in the way. I want to do that, but this happened. So you're going to give yourself excuses. You need an accountability person to when you say, but they look at you and they say, the truth is, and they show you all the reasons why you still could have. It may have been a little bit tweaked. It may have looked at this a little bit different this way. You could have actually done it 100%. But you need someone who's going to tell you the truth when you're going to be focusing on all your butts. And then here's the catch. When they tell you the truth, you're not allowed to get angry at them for telling you the truth. You need to choose a person who, when they tell you the truth, you're going to respect it. It's almost going to be an aha moment. You're going to appreciate it. You're going to take it in. Now, I have someone in my life who holds me accountable. And when I got off the plane today, one of the things that I want to maintain consistency with is not just going straight to my hotel room, but moving my body. Because I've been sitting for, well, today I was sitting for probably six hours. So immediately, I want to not only have this person say the truth is, if I were to ever say but again, but I also let them know that I'm doing it. I also contact them and I let them know that I'm doing it. So you get the both, you get the praise, you get the, you get the acknowledgement that you're doing it. And then in the moments where you don't want to do it or you don't feel like you can do it because of your butts, you need someone to tell you the truth and you can't get angry. You have to be able to say, yep, you're right. I hear you. And then you want to recover. You want to reset. So that's a real accountability partner. Now, sometimes your best friend, sometimes your spouse can be wonderful accountability partners. Other times they're more of an enabler. And even though they care and they want you to succeed, they're gonna support you in your butts. So you really wanna choose someone, anyone, who's willing to stand up to you in a respectful manner and so that you can respect uh, when they do stand up. Accountability, it is key. If you have a goal, which I hope you all do, find someone to hold you accountable. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Leave them in the space provided. Go to my website at drhaleyperlis.com. Shoot me a message. Ask me a question. Download my book, Personal Podium. And um, yeah, until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day.